Ground Watchers, and welcome to the ground beneath us. I'm James Albury, and I'm your tour guide to the underground. Earth is an amazing planet. Not only is it just the right distance from the sun that it has liquid water, but its atmosphere can support a multitude of life forms, great and small. One thing that we seldom think of is the ground beneath our feet. Geologists can classify rocks in numerous ways, but the most general classification is determined by how the rocks formed and transitioned through geologic time. These main rock types are igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. I live in Florida, and a rock type that I'm most familiar with is limestone. Limestone is a common type of carbonate sedimentary rock. Carbonate meaning that it is mostly made of carbon compounds, specifically crystal forms of calcium carbonate, of which the minerals calcite and aragonite are examples. Limestone forms when these minerals precipitate out of water containing dissolved calcium. This happens both through biological and non-biological processes, but over the last half billion years, biology has been a more important factor in the production of Earth's limestone. Florida is mostly made of limestone, and when you look closely at it, you often find fossils of small ocean-dwelling creatures from millions of years ago. Limestone is particularly soluble, especially when exposed to acids. As a result, these areas can become porous and sponge-like in that they can be riddled with holes over time. The topography, or land formations, can be dramatically transformed on a large scale. We call such topography karst topography. The name karst is derived from a German word which described the geological features stretching from between Italy and Slovenia. Here in Florida, the porous nature of limestone is great for storing groundwater. We call these aquifers. One of the largest aquifers where I live is the Floridan Aquifer, and it underlies the entire state of Florida and parts of the southeastern United States, stretching from Alabama to South Carolina. Here in Florida, we get sinkholes. This happens when underground caverns form and the roof of those caverns collapses when the water table in the aquifer drops significantly. This can be a big problem if the sinkhole happens near a populated area. Fortunately, there are stable cavern systems all over the world. Several of them have guided tours, so do an online search in your area to see if there's a cavern system near you. While you're visiting the cavern, the tour guide will give you tons of information about all the history of the cavern and how it was discovered. The formations within a cavern take thousands of years to form, so I highly encourage you that if you get the opportunity to explore a cavern in your area, it will be an experience you won't soon forget. All right, my friends, get outside and check out Earth in all its rocky splendor. It's easy to do when you remember to keep looking down.